Hi everyone, it's Ashley Gilligan here, independent consultant with Pink Zebra, and today's video training focuses on a tour of back office. So if you are a new consultant, definitely stay tuned because this is going to be one of the most important back office videos that you do watch. I'm going to be showing you how to log in and kind of going over all the tabs and kind of showing you what back office does. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay. So to get to your back office, you're going to go to your website. And when you join Pink Zebra, you created your own customized URL. So it's going to look something like pinkzebrahome.com slash blank. So fill in the blank there, get to your website. Okay. So then what you're going to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. And if you are mobile, it's going to look a little bit different than this, but uh, you still have to scroll to the bottom and you're going to click consultant login. And if you are a first time, um, you know, log in, you're going to enter your consultant ID number with your password that you created. My computer saves mine for me, so I'm just going to hit log in. All right, so here's your back office. Um, you're going to notice right here front and center is the what's hot in Zebraland, this little gray box here. This is just a bunch of different um, information and news from home office. So like you can see here, the most recent one was September 6th. It shows that customer service was closing at 4 p.m. on the 7th. So if you want elaboration, you can just hit read more. And it tells me that, you know, they're celebrating the grand opening uh, ribbon cutting of the new Sugarland office. So they're closing at 4 p.m. So make sure to check this section out um, periodically. You know, every time you log in, it's just going to have a lot of really good information that you're going to need to know. And if you go down a little bit farther, you're going to see your status dashboard. This is where you're going to see your sales volume, um, all your qualified sponsors and your rank and stuff like that. And then at the bottom, these little white boxes with the um, little icons in there is the exact same thing as these tabs up here that I'm going to show you. So speaking of the tabs, let's just go ahead and go into that. So I'm already home, so there's no reason to click that. Um, next tab is the reports tab. This has a lot of really good information. Um, you know, if you're searching for something in specific, like your, um, you know, your pay is under financials, order reports. Um, so make sure you click through those and kind of get familiar with that. Next tab is the resources tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and show you what that does. Um, if you are a new consultant, definitely get on this tab because this is going to have loads of information and product photos. Um, you know, frequently asked questions and stuff like that. And there's a lot of printables on this too. Um, if you are a new consultant, and even if you're an older consultant, definitely go into the consultant manual, read it, refresh your memory. But if you click the policy manual and career plan, it's actually going to pull up a PDF. It's 39 pages long. Uh, I definitely recommend reading it though, because it just has all of the pink zebra policies in it. And then the other important one, if you do plan on growing a team and promoting, is the career plan. And this one talks about promoting, um, commission, bonuses, and stuff like that. So definitely, um, you know, get that one printed off too. If you print both of these, just stick them in a binder. That way it's handy. And if you need to kind of refresh yourself on a policy, you can just refer to that binder. Next is the training one. You definitely want to go through here because it's got a lot of different training information and printables there. Um, the rest is pretty self-explanatory, so just familiarize yourself with all these different tabs, flip through them. Another good one to use is the images and logos. It not only has the logos, but it also has far, uh, farty, thrr, farty, farty photos, <laughs> party photos, um, and product photos. So I'm just going to go to product photos. I'm not editing that part out, by the way. Okay, people make mistakes, all right, even if I do say farty photos. All right, so this is the product photos. And if you scroll down, you just see there's a huge long list of different um, product photos. So I'm just going to click on the brown whiskey jug shade because that's one of my favorites. So as you can see, it's just a really nice high resolution professional photo of the product. So you can use this. You can save it to your desktop or take a uh, screenshot if you're mobile. And you can use that for advertising. So anything in here you can use to advertise for your business. I love this one love the motorcycle shade um you know turquoise simmer pot so all the products basically are in that tab and uh you can just go through that uh, next one that i want to share with you guys let's see i'm just kind of picking and choosing what i want to elaborate on but the hosted special one is pretty important too this is where you're going to find the paisley's pick of the month as well as the hostess special so like this one is september's and it's candy corn amazing amazing stuff um i wish that they would put this in the you know permanent product line, but I doubt they will because it's candy corn, but it smells so good. Maybe they should just keep the scent and name it something different. That way it sounds normal. <laughs> uh, next one is the hostess rewards Let's, or the hostess special here. August and September was the uh, holiday train. 
and that one comes with a carton of cinnamon spice sprinkles and a gold simmering light. You can see it inside the train there. This thing is so coyote. I love it. Okay, so with these, cool thing about it is you can print these off and hand them out at parties and events and stuff like that. So definitely get that going and just go through all these and click them. I'm not going to click on all of them because I don't want this video to drag on all day, but just go through there and figure out what they are. Pretty self-explanatory. So then the next one is shopping tab. And this is where you're going to place your party orders, your consultant order and customer order. Um, this is also where you're going to get um, enrolled for Club Pink and stuff like that. I'm going to do a separate video um, on how to, you know, put in certain types of party orders and consultant orders and customer orders, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do separate videos or if I'm just going to do a video with, um, you know, putting in all the different orders. I'm not sure yet. But the next tab is events, and this is where you're going to go to register for like rally or reunion. Um, if you click that, it just shows all the different events coming up that are, um, you know, available to register for. Next is Zebra Reach. I'm not going to go over this one. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. I have not really learned it. It is fairly new. Um, so if I do kind of familiarize myself with Zebra Reach, I will do a video on that in the future. And last but not least is the My Account tab. So this is where you're going to go to enter all your replicated site contact information, home office profile, trouble tickets, and so on. I'm just going to click this one to show you what it does, the replicated site contact info. Alright, so this is what your customers are going to see on your website. And I'm going to go to my website actually to show you. Oops. Dang it, come on. Just going to show you what I'm talking about here. So when you're on your website, you see your little picture and your name. If you click the About Me section, um, all this print right here, all this text, is actually what I have typed up in this box here. And you can customize that to say whatever you want. Mine just says, you know, hi, thanks for stopping by my website, blah, blah, blah. Um, I like to do something fun, so I have my current sprinkle scent favorites, a um, little bit of information about joining my team, and so on. So you can customize that the way you want it. You can change the text and you can change the size and all that. Um, one thing that is kind of iffy is I don't recommend putting in your street address. I do have my town and my zip code because I don't feel like that's as bad. But uh, if you put in your street address, that is going to be public, unfortunately. So I'm not sure why that section's in there. Um, I don't recommend doing it, but if that's what you want to do, go for it. <laughs> um, but I don't, just because I want to protect my privacy, obviously. And then right here, you can select your photo. And the next thing is the Home Office Profile Update. So I'm not going to click that, just because it has all of my personal information in it. But if you are a new consultant, just make sure you go in and fill all that out. Um, that's where you're going to put in your credit card information, your social security number, and all your other information. If you don't have that information filled out, unfortunately you won't get paid, so make sure you do that. Next is trouble tickets. Um, I will make a separate video on how to submit a trouble ticket, but this is where you go if you have a problem with any products that were delivered to you. I'm not going to go over chain sponsor because I don't feel like that's really um, you know, something that you're thinking about if you are a new consultant. And then the last one is the e-wallet. I'll just click that one and show you it real quick. Um, E-wallet is what you're going to do if you don't want it direct deposited, um, if you don't want your commission direct deposited into a bank account. Um, E-wallet is just like, kind of like a bank account, but it's in your Pink Zebra back office, if that makes sense. I've never really used it, so I'm not going to explain it too much. If you have any questions about that, there's a big old thing of text right here that shows what it is. So that is the tour of back office. Again, if you're a new consultant, um, you know, familiarize yourself with all these tabs. Go through them. It's not going to hurt to click everything. Now, trust me, I know how overwhelming it is to learn back office. Um, I have been a new consultant at one point in time. And yeah, it was super overwhelming, but I promise after a week or so, you're going to be a pro at back office. So, hope this video helped you in some way. Um, make sure to share the link to this video with your team members. And if you haven't already joined my group on Facebook, I definitely recommend it because these um, videos on YouTube are actually private, so you cannot view them on my channel unless you have the link to them. And I only did that to protect the privacy of Pink Zebra, um, you know, and back office and stuff like that. So um, that group is facebook.com slash group slash PZ website training. And make sure that you add yourself to that group and I'll get you approved and add your team members and, you know, just share all the videos with them. That way you can help your team out. So hope this video helped you and thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.